Here's a puzzle that seems like a simple game of hide-and-seek, but will challenge your logical thinking in ways you never expected. A clever cat has decided to play the ultimate game of hide-and-seek with you. You're faced with five boxes lined up in a perfect row, numbered one through five from left to right. Somewhere in one of these boxes, a cat is hiding, waiting for you to find it. This cat operates under two rules that transform a simple guessing game into a complex logical puzzle. Rule 1. Every single night without exception, the cat moves to an adjacent box, exactly one number away from where it currently is. If the cat is in box 3, it must move to either box 2 or box 4. There's no staying put, no skipping boxes, no random teleportation. Rule 2. Every morning you get exactly one chance to open a single box. If you find the cat, you win. If not, you must wait until the next morning for another attempt. At first glance, you might think, how hard can this be? After all, there are only five boxes, and you get unlimited attempts. But as you start thinking through the implications of the cat's movement pattern, you'll discover that this seemingly simple game contains layers of mathematical complexity that will make you appreciate the beauty of logical reasoning. So, if you're thinking about any of these strategies, they definitely won't work. The random search trap. Your first instinct might be to search randomly, hoping luck will favor you. Let's see why this approach is mathematically doomed. Imagine on day one, you randomly choose to search box three. Unknown to you, the cat is actually hiding in box two. You open box three, find nothing, and shrug off the miss. Here's where the mathematical trap reveals itself. That night, the cat moves from box two to either box one or box three. Let's say it chooses box three. On day two, you randomly decide to search box two where the cat was yesterday, but the cat has moved to box three. You miss again. On day three, the cat moves from box three to either box two or box four. You randomly choose box one, another miss. This pattern can continue indefinitely. The random approach fails because it doesn't account for the cat's predictable movement pattern. You're essentially playing a game of chance against a system that follows strict mathematical rules. Second, the stubborn single box strategy. Another seemingly logical approach is persistence. Keep checking the same box every day until you eventually catch the cat. This strategy fails for an even more interesting mathematical reason. Let's say you decide to check box 2 every single day. On day 1, unknown to you, the cat is in box 4. Night 1, cat moves from box 4 to either box 3 or box 5. Let's say it goes to box 3. Day 2, you check box 2. Cat is in box 3. Miss, night 2, cat moves from box 3 to either box 2 or box 4. Let's say it goes to box four. Day three, you check box two. Cat is in box four. Miss, night three. Cat moves from box four to either box three or box five. It goes to box three. Day four, you check box two. Cat is in box three. Miss, the cat can establish a perpetual loop between boxes three and four, never intersecting with your persistent box two searches. You could theoretically search forever and never find the cat. The key insight that unlocks this puzzle lies in recognizing a fundamental mathematical property, parity. In mathematics, parity refers to whether a number is even or odd. Let's trace what happens to the cat's location over time. If the cat starts in an even-numbered box, 2 or 4, after one night of movement, it must be in an odd-numbered box, 1, 3, or 5. If the cat starts in an odd-numbered box, 1, 3, or 5, after one night of movement, it must be in an even-numbered box, two or four. This alternating pattern, even to odd, odd to even, continues indefinitely. The cat's parity, even or odd position, alternates every single night. If we can synchronize our search pattern with the cat's parity pattern, we can guarantee success. We need to search in such a way that when the cat is in an even-numbered box, we're also searching even-numbered boxes. When the cat is in an odd-numbered box, we're searching odd-numbered boxes. But there's a subtle complexity here that makes this puzzle truly elegant. We don't know whether the cat started in an even or odd position. Our strategy must account for both possibilities. Let's work through the complete solution systematically, starting with the case where we can catch the cat quickly. Phase 1. Catching cats. If it starts in even positions, our strategy begins with this sequence. Day 1. Box 2. Day 2, box 3, day 3, box 4. Why does this work for cats starting in even positions? Let's trace through both possibilities. Case A, cat starts in box 2. Day 1, we search box 2. We find the cat immediately. Game over. Case B, cat starts in box 4. Day 1, we search box 2. Cat is in box 4, no luck. 
Night 1, cat moves from box 4 to either box 3 or box 5. If cat goes to box 3, day 2, we search box 3. We find the cat. If cat goes to box 5, day 2, we search box 3. Cat is in box 5. Night 2, if cat was in box 5, cat moves from box 5 to box 4 because there is no other option. Day 3, we search box 4, we find the cat. This sequence, 2, 3, 4, is mathematically guaranteed to catch the cat. It starts in an even-numbered position within three days. Phase 2. Addressing cats that start in odd positions. What if the cat started in an odd-numbered position box 1, 3, or 5? Our 2, 3, 4 sequence won't catch it in the first three days. However, after three days of movement, a cat that started in an odd position will be in an even position. Let's verify this. Day 1. Cat in odd position. 1, 3, or 5. Night 1. Cat moves to even position, 2 or 4. Night, 2. Cat moves to odd position, 1, 3 or 5. Night, 3. Cat moves to even position, 2 or 4. So on day 4, if the cat started in an odd position is now in an even position. This means our problem has reduced to the case we already solved. Starting day 4, we repeat our winning sequence. Day 4, box 2, day 5, box 3, day 6, box 4. This will catch the cat that started in an odd position, now guaranteed to be in an even position. The complete strategy, six days to guaranteed victory. Our complete winning strategy is day one, search box two, day two, search box three, day three, search box four, day four, search box two, day five, search box three, day six, search box four. This strategy is mathematically guaranteed to find the cat within six days, regardless of where it started. Mathematics often reveals multiple paths to the same solution, and this problem is no exception. The symmetry of the box arrangement gives us several equivalent strategies. The reverse sequence approach. Instead of repeating 2, 3, 4 twice, we can use the sequence 2-3-4 followed by 4-3-2. This works because the sequence 4-3-2 is mathematically equivalent to 2-3-4, just mirrored. Imagine flipping the entire box arrangement what was box 1 becomes box 5, box 2 becomes box 4, and so on. The 4-3-2 sequence in the original arrangement behaves exactly like 2-3-4 in the flipped arrangement. Because of this symmetry, we actually have four different ways to guarantee victory. 1, 2, 3, 4, then 2, 3, 4. Repeat the same sequence. 2, 2, 3, 4, then 4, 3, 2. Sequence then reverse. 3, 4, 3, 2, then 2, 3, 4. Reverse then sequence. 4, 4, 3, 2. Then 4, 3, 2. Repeat the reverse sequence. All four approaches are mathematically equivalent and equally guaranteed to succeed. Let's trace through our strategy with a visual representation. In this grid representation, I'll mark different types of boxes to track our logical deductions. Gray rectangles. Possible locations where the cat could be. Blue rectangles the box we search on that day, black rectangles, boxes where the cat cannot possibly be, eliminated through logical deduction. Day 1, search box 2, grid status, all five boxes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, are gray. The cat could be anywhere. Our search, we check box 2, marked in blue, result, if we find the cat, we win. If not, we know the cat was not in box 2. Day 2, search box 3, key deduction, we can now eliminate box 1, mark it black. Why? If the cat was not in box 2 yesterday, there's no way it could reach box 1 today. The only path to box 1 is from box 2. Grid status. Boxes 2, 3, 4, 5 remain gray. Possible locations. Our search. We check box 3, blue. Result. If we find the cat, we win. If not, we've eliminated another location. Day 3. Search box 4. Further deduction. We can now eliminate box 2, mark it black. If the cat wasn't in boxes 1 or 3 on day 2, it couldn't reach box 2 on day 3. Grid status. Only boxes. 3, 4, 5 remain gray. Our search. We check box 4, blue. Critical moment. If we find the cat, we win. If not, we've just learned something crucial about the cat's starting position. After day 3, if we haven't found the cat by now, we can make a powerful deduction. The cat must have started in an odd-numbered box, 1, 3, or 5. This means that after three full days of movement, the cat is now guaranteed to be in an even-numbered position. Day 4. Search box 2. 
the reset, grid status. We can eliminate boxes one, three, and five. Mark them black, because we know the cat must now be in an even position. Only boxes two and four remain gray. Our search, we check box two, blue. Result, if we find the cat, we win. If not, we know with absolute certainty the cat is in box four. Day five, search box three. Certain knowledge, the cat was in box four yesterday and must have moved to either box three or box five. Grid status, only boxes three and five are gray. Our search, we check box three, blue. Result, if we find the cat, we win. If not, the cat is definitely in box five. Day six, search box four. Mathematical certainty, the cat was in box five yesterday and can only move to box four. Grid status, only box four is gray. It's the only possible location. Our search, we check box four, blue. Guaranteed result, we must find the cat. Victory is mathematically assured. The beauty of this mathematical approach extends beyond just five boxes. The pattern scales elegantly to any number of boxes. For odd numbers of boxes, n equals 3, 5, 7, 9, the general strategy is 1. First search, check boxes 2, 3, 4, n minus 1. All middle boxes in order. 2. Second search, repeat the same sequence. This catches cats starting in even positions in the first search and cats starting in odd positions now in even positions, in the second search. For even numbers of boxes, n equals 4, 6, 8, 10, the strategy requires a subtle modification. 1. First search, check boxes, 2, 3, 4, n minus 1, all middle boxes in order. 2. Second search, check the same boxes in reverse order, n minus 1, n minus 2, 3, 2. The reverse is necessary because with an even number of boxes, cats starting in odd positions remain in odd positions after an odd number of days. Example, four boxes. For four boxes, our strategy would be one, days one to two, search boxes two, three, two. Days three to four, search boxes three, two, reverse order. This guarantees finding the cat within four days. Let's work through the four box case in detail to see how the general principle applies to even numbers of boxes. Setup. Boxes 1, 2, 3, 4. Cat starts in unknown location. Case 1. Cat starts in even position. Box 2 or 4. Day 1. Search box 2. If cat is there, victory. If not, cat was in box 4. Day 2. Search box 3. Cat moved from box 4 to box 3. Guaranteed victory. Case 2. Cat starts in odd position. Box 1 or 3. After our first search, days 1 to 2, the cat starting in an odd position will still be in an odd position on day three. This is the key difference from the five box case. Day three, search box three. Cat is in odd position, one or three. If cat is in box three, victory. If not, cat is in box one. Day four, search box two. Cat moved from box one to box two. Guaranteed victory. The reverse search pattern. 3-2 ensures we catch cats that started in odd positions. Now that you understand the principle, Consider this challenge. Take five seconds to guess. How would you catch a cat hiding in 10 boxes? Following our general rule for even numbers of boxes. One, first search, boxes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight days. Second search, boxes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, eight more days. This guarantees success within 16 days regardless of the cat's starting position. The weird math of the hiding cat problem reveals that sometimes the most elegant solutions come not from brute force or luck, but from understanding the beautiful mathematical structures hidden within apparently simple games.